In this video I'm going to show you how to draw horse hair starting from the head. I will be using these three leads 2B, HB and 2H. These leads are 0.3 millimeters in size and so are these three mechanical pencils. Initially I'm going to start with the 2B lead, work my way down from 2B down to HB and then to 2H and I want to start by drawing in what I call reference areas. Okay, here's one down the nose here and here's one by the eye and I'm about to do one underneath the eye here now. I'm going to put another reference section along the cheek piece of the horse's bridle along here. So I've changed to an HB lead now and I'm concentrating on this section, filling it in, just putting in the coat of hair, trying to do it as naturally as possible but it, because this is just the first layer it'll still look like a bunch of pencil marks and not so natural quite yet, don't worry about that. Especially when you're doing the first layer, rather than going left to right when you're putting in the strokes, you should progress in the direction of the growth of the hair, going left to right just a little bit as you go. It should give you a more natural effect. Now onto the 2H lead, drawing in the hairs, in, especially in the areas where graphite has not yet been applied. I've gone from darker to lighter initially because it's the first layer and I needed reference sections or points which I used the 2B for. Okay, so just as a reminder, try to be true to the natural growth direction of the horses here. Next I used a blending stump just to smooth over the various pencil strokes. You start to see an improvement when you blend over your pencil work at this stage because it gives it a softer look. I'm just using the eraser pen putting in highlights. The tip of the eraser pen is not that fine so this will need to be adjusted which I'll show you in a moment. You don't want to take out too much graphite in one go. Now I'm using the 2H to define the highlights that I've just put in more finely. I'm drawing the horses here in layers. As I get further on in the layers I tend to draw shorter hairs. Now I'm going to continue in a reverse sequence and from lighter to darker. I'm going to put in highlights now but less than what I put in before. It'll be more strategical. Again the tip of the eraser pen isn't so sharp so I'm going to have to rectify that with the mechanical pencil. First I'll use the blending stump just to soften this whole area. The eraser pen has made the highlights look a little bit patchy but that can be corrected using a mechanical pencil, namely this 2H pencil. Um, I won't be drawing in as much hairs with this pencil at this stage and the hairs will be much shorter. Then I'll use the blending stump once again. Now moving on to the HB pencil. You don't have to put in the graphite everywhere, just um, in strategical areas, areas where you think could do with more graphite. Here I am using the 2B mechanical pencil again, just putting in short dark hairs strategically. Just use the blending stump once again. Now this stage is going to be a bit different. I'm going to use a 5H pencil to just go over this entire section that I've done which will serve as another way of blending everything in. So that's essentially this first section completed and now you just carry on in the same manner starting off with the 2B again putting in our reference areas. Basically the same process for here, here and here. 
However, in this section, I did use the 4B to add more value, uh, more shading. Also, in this area here, I basically did the horse here as a base because this part, this like the stomach and the rest of the body, it's going to be very, very dark because it's in darkness almost. Please click here to see other techniques that I use to draw this picture. Also, click here if you want to see the whole drawing in time lapse. 